Hello everyone, uh, this is Zubair Ahmad Hoshimi from MTA, Master Technology Academy. I really appreciate for being here. Let's start today's journey. We're gonna talking about uh, computers generation or generation of computer. Let's start. The first generation of computer is belongs to uh, uh, they are from 1940 up to 1956 and it was the first generation uh, which was the large the first computer generation which is belongs to IBM computer company well we can call it IBM or international business machine it's mainly like that this I B M in mean they are the provision of it international business uh, machine well, it was the first company who just uh, grew or made or produced the first computer you know. And that was belongs to 19, 1940 up to 1956. And the next one, this computer was very big. That was big M computer. And the next one, uh, the main one, did generate a lot of heat. What was the purpose? What made that they they uh, create a lot of heat was uh, they uh, they were using electric. They was doing better. Computers are electronic machines they are using electronics and this is why they are uh, they have dependency on their electricity and their blanks uh, they need electricity or power in order to uh, we can power uh, we cannot power it on without electricity and what made uh, the this the first computer to be large was the Wacom tubes the Wacom tubes are uh, that was a uh, disk uh, the smallest this, this is the example of it. These are uh, called Vacam tips. Uh, the first uh, purpose for uh, processing was this one, which is uh, which is used almost uh, one eighteen thousand. Uh, yes, eighteen thousand Vacam tubes in just one this large computer. That made uh, to generate a lot of heat uh, here, heat as well as, and uh, the, this computer was very big because of this uh, that much. Uh, Vocam tips they are using, uh, they used on that time. Uh, the second generation com uh, computer is belongs to 90, uh, 1956 up to 1966. And this kind of generation is a sm uh, this kind of computer or the second computer uh, generation is smaller than the first generation, and uh, this this computer are somehow faster than that. And as well as they have they have they are using on a high level uh, programming. Uh, language it's called COBOL or Fortran. Uh, Fortran. These were the, the first programming, uh, high-level programming language. That was uh, there. There just there was a possibility to use that in a second generation of computer, which you can see it uh, and and the left side. Here we go. Second part. These are two the example. These are two uh, biggest example of uh, second generation computer which is available here but in uh, the meanwhile the second what was what made this computer to be a little bit smaller uh, than the first generation they are using transistors and, and instead of uh, vcam tubes they replace vcam tubes in a, uh, and instead of it uh, they are using what they are using uh, transistor you know better transistor like this small or tiny chip uh, chip uh, which is used for processing and uh, they made it a little bit smaller uh, this chip made to be a little bit smaller than the first generation and uh, the third generation of computer is belongs to 1964 up to 1971 and in this type of computer uh, they, they were they're using ic yeah just they replaced in transistors or in the state of it, they use. I mean, uh, if it's just clear here, I see what does I see mean, or integrated and integrated circuit, the combination of uh, more than transistors, or they are combined in one chip that is called IC. They have uh, idea. The idea just was uh, as much uh, that the transistor. The more transistor, the more process. In mean here that they are just combined a lot of transistors in one chip. Which is then they're called after that I C in mean integrated circuit. And uh, the score uh, monitor and operating system in mean uh, after 1964 up to 1971 they are just using operating system you can they are they were well available uh, they, they had the ability to run operating system on it and as well as uh, many applications at the same time in mean how uh, this kind of computer or become somehow multitasking in mean many applications over uh, running at the same time that was the key changes 
uh, the second key changes or the best key changes uh, which made Altabat uh, better, smaller and faster than the first and second generation of computer. And after that, the third generation uh, of computer is belongs to 1971 up to 1980. And this kind of computer, uh, this generation of computer is uh, they're using monitor and it's as clear. You can see it here. And as well as they use operating system. There will uh, a good option for it to run operating system this kind of computer. And when a better, these computers are fast. And why they are fast then? Uh, this the first and the second and the third generation of the computer because they're using what they're using microprocessor and this microchip made uh, the, the fourth generation of computer to be faster than the third generation and the second and the first generation uh, this is called also CPU. It means Central Processing Unit, and we can call it CPU shortly. This is the provision of it, but you can uh, have it uh, this full form of it: uh, Central Processing Unit. And the fifth generation of computer is blanks to uh, 1980. And 1980, this kind of computer is still in development. They are, they are just they are working on it. And as well as they are based on AI, artificial intelligence. They are using uh, according to this one AI. This is a new term or buzzer in the ma in, in market, specifically especially in the technology market. Uh, they are using nowadays artificial intelligence, but uh, they are just uh, they're responding to natural language. It means there's a good possibility. Uh, for, for example, we can use our Google Assistant or Siri, or we can use uh, Cortana. They're uh, for, for you are just they're answering guys. Yeah, while you're asking the questions, they are respond to you as your as a natural language but this is a good idea for fifth generation as well as don't forget the fifth generation is belongs to robot as well as we know robot these are the electronic machines or their electronic mm, made uh, this happen to be nowadays they have reactions they have in my memories and they can do according what you're ordering the ordering this one uh, I mean these are all uh, the ability of the fifth generation which is nowadays these are available and you can have it and totally we have the fifth, gener uh, fifth generation in our uh, daily basis don't forget this one we have totally sixth generation totally uh, a fifth generation uh, which is sort of uh, uh, from first generation till fifth generation of computer and these computers are uh, this fifth generation is still in development and you're working on it thank you very much i'll see you next time goodbye